Okay, Gemini, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All the Trade. It's your girl, Missy Potato. And today, I'm so extra happy, y'all. It's my birthday. Like, if y'all see this, it's probably gonna be my birthday or my birthday's about to come. Like, for real. So, yeah, let's get into y'all energy. Um, don't forget that I'm doing the, um, what did I say? Oh, so if you want your comment, if you want me to answer your question for free, okay, comment your question down below in the comments. And on Sunday, this Sunday, I think it's the 25th or the 26th, then I'm going to be answering all the questions that everybody asked, okay? So, so don't forget to get your question in there if you want a freaking question answered by me, okay? And it is completely free. I do not mind doing it. I want to do them. So give me a question to answer, okay? So now, let's go. Gemini. Gemini is my rising sign, by the way. Ooh, ooh, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you, Gemini, and the person that you're thinking about. Today. Gemini person oh okay there's too many of them right now um we're gonna reshuffle but yeah whatever it is that you guys are going through Gemini it's the same for you guys not to worry um somebody is afraid of a separation too or devastated over a separation that's what I was seeing here um, how is Gemini feeling currently? Okay, so we have the Two of Cups. I mean, yeah, Two of Cups. So this is definitely a new relationship. Okay, a partnership. Somebody working on their partnership or the, the relationship is growing, escalating to a new level here. How is Gemini feeling? Okay, Two of Cups. Yeah, so some of you guys feel like you missed the opportunity here with someone, okay, or there was some kind of missed opportunity. That's the other card, though. And that you have choices here. There's definitely some options. Um, there's definitely some passion in new beginnings here coming your way with the Ace of Wands, okay? Um, definitely probably a one-night stand I'm seeing with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Um, could be with a Leo, okay? Um... Yeah, <laughs> definitely seeing that one night stand. Um, and I do see that there was definitely some type of secrets or some type of emotional issues that you guys, um, it's taking a long time for you guys to um, express here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Moon card, okay? Um, you can be doing for Taurus or Pisces, okay? Or you can have these signs in your chart. But there's definitely just a missed opportunity in a relationship where you have options. Let's see. How is the person that Gemini is thinking about or dealing with feeling currently? How is the person that Gemini is thinking about or dealing with feeling currently? Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So this person is feeling like they want to invest in this. Okay. They want to make an investment. Um... They really want to work on this, but this person kind of wants to emotionally walk away. I don't see them walking away for good, but I do see them emotionally walking away here. Um, just to gain some type of sanity with the sun card. Okay, you could be dealing with a, um, a um, Leo. Yeah, they want to be by themselves here yeah, with the cancer card, it, with the, um, the hermit. They're just trying to, let me show you this, because I got too many stuff in my hand. So... Yeah, it's like they want to emotionally check out, okay? Sometimes them withdrawing and being by themselves and going within and soul searching, that makes them happy. They're trying to gain some type of sanity here. This is what I'm picking up here with the Hermit card and the Sun card and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so you can definitely deal with a Cancer or a Leo. All right. Yeah, they want to do that because of, you know, they're trying to protect themselves from um, petty arguments here with the Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords and... I mean, seven of wands and the five 
Swords. Okay. This is definitely a twin flame, okay, or somebody who wants to marry you, okay, or somebody that you live with in your household, something like that. But they definitely want to invest in here. They just they just want to take a break, okay? We have the moon card, and then we have the ace of um swords. So there's definitely some secrets here. Um, let's get into this because I want to know what that is really about. So even though you feel like you may have missed the opportunity with this person, this person just wants to be alone. Like they need to gather their own thoughts and get themselves together. Um, tell me about the moon. The tower. Yeah, there was definitely some secrets that was revealed here with the tower. Um, somebody's world came crashing down. This is why this person needs to retreat. This person really needs time to themselves. Um, they can't even bring you anything until they can even get their own selves together. Like, that's real talk. They're trying to manifest shit all over again with the um, magician. Could be a Scorpio or Aries. Yeah, because they realized that they blocked you and they want things to be unblocked here. Yeah. Um, they could have blocked communication with the communication card coming out. And they're ready to unblock communication. They've just been going through something emotionally here. Something that was traumatizing, something that rocked their fucking world. Okay. Um, yeah. Wow. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, the truth is, is they want to win at all costs. That's what I'm picking up here. And I feel like um, they have been watching you. And I feel like they want to actively approach you, whoever this person is. Like I said, this is somebody who withdrew from you or feel like they're emotionally withdrawn from you. Like, y'all can live in the same house. It don't even talk because this person is not letting you in. Because something devastating happened. Like, something happened. And now they're ready to unblock communication and they're ready to communicate about it. Communicate the truth, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Yeah, it's just taking them a, a little while to come forth with the info, okay? With the messages of communication. Um, we have the Knight of Wands, Taurus, energy. Seven of Coins. Seven of Coins. Yeah, I'm getting this person still wants to build. They want to invest in it. Yeah, they want to invest in it. And they want to offer you a cup of love here with the Knight of Cups. They might want to take you out on a date. Um, send you romantic, you know, messages. Um... You know, if you get romantic messages from this person, once they unblock you, um, and the messages are going to be coming in quickly here with the Knight of Swords, okay? It could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio. Looking up a lot of Scorpion energy. Um, yeah. Even though somebody felt betrayed in the situation here, they did some type of secret, so the moon is coming back out. So that's what this realization was. This tower could have been some type of betrayal, Okay. But somebody definitely wants to make the work on it, put in the effort and work on the situation, okay? So you have Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus. Tell me about the missed opportunity. Okay. Yeah, somebody feel like they missed that chance of getting married, okay? Or missed that chance with this person that they have a spiritual connection with or missed that chance at a commitment with this person, okay? Um, but it's saying, you know, due to secrets, okay, that happened. So the moon is coming back out again. So you know what this is, whatever this secret is, whatever this mess was. Um, yeah, it could be with the um, Aries, Taurus. Yeah, it's saying that um, things are going to be progressing moving forward here. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Even though there was the secrets going on right here, somebody's definitely about to get that Ten of Cups. Like I said, this person is balancing themselves out right now. And whatever you're hoping and praying for right now is definitely going to come 
Well, this is whatever you were stressing out about, okay? Definitely whatever you were stressing out about. You can have Aquarius in your chart or building from Aquarius, but things are definitely about to balance out here. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Tell me for Gemini. What does the romance angels have to say for the Gemini peeps? For my Gemini peeps. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. So we have express your love. So definitely somebody's coming to express their love with this Knight of Cups energy, most definitely. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you guys have the green light to go ahead and make that gesture here. And then it says, let your friends help you, okay? And it says, ask and help from, for support in others, okay? And then we have forgiving and learning at the break. So there's definitely a chance. I feel like there's definitely some forgiving and learning that needs to be done. It says, act as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So there's definitely some healing that needs to be done. Um, you know, based off of this moon and this tower card. You know what I'm saying? So let me see if I can get a, some type of likely outcome for you guys. I mean, overall, I'm feeling like it's going to be okay. Like, somebody definitely wants to come back. Is They just, um, I feel like, yes, yeah, there's definitely going to be communication again in this situation. Yeah, and the same for you guys to so just rest, okay? Rest on it. Think about it, okay? You need to be in a clear mind for this one. <laughs> What's coming on? Things are going to be clear to you, okay? Clear communication is coming. Um, and you need a clear mind. Some of you guys need to clear your mind, okay? You think it too much. We have Gemini and we have um, Libra energy, okay? Some of you guys need to think about it before you make this hit of a hard decision. This could be what the Two of Wands was about. Yeah, you need to contemplate and think about this offer that's coming to you. Offer is definitely coming. And we have the Patience card here. It's like, you guys need to be patient, okay? Think clearly. Clear your mind, meditate, okay? We also have the Queen of Wands coming right back out again, you know? It's time for you guys to heal and clear yourself out, okay? And rest and rejuvenate, okay? After this ordeal, I mean, I don't know what that's about. Yeah, you could be dealing with um, a King of Cups type person, somebody who's like really emotional, but this person is definitely controlling. This person, somebody needs to have control of their emotions, is what I'm saying. Or you could be dealing with somebody that has, um, that could be too controlling emotionally here. But this person isn't moving away from you. Like, they don't want to go anywhere. Yeah. This person is definitely determined. They have a lot of drive. They feel like this is going to be successful. Or you feel that way. Okay, we got Capricorn Energy, Cancer, definitely Cancer, and um, Aries. Okay, I think I said all the other signs already. So, this was your reading, Gemini. If you like the video, comment down below or well, give it a like. And I need you to comment down below your question so you can get your question read in the free read when I come back on. And I'll see you guys in the next video.